Okay, for this question, we are asked to find the perimeter of the third square. This is a Pythagorean theorem model. And what we have are two legs, A and B, which form a right angle, and the hypotenuse, which is formed by the square C. The area of the first square is 9, which means that when we multiply the length times the width of this first square, we get 9. And they are the same length. So what number, when multiplied by itself, will give you 9? You have to take the square root of 9. And we find out that each side of this square is 3. So we know A is 3. On the second square, we have an area of 16. So that means that the length times the width of this square is 16. To find out the length of each side, you take the square root of that, and we find that each side has a length of 4. Now, at this point, if we were to find the perimeter of the first square, we would add the four sides, which are 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3, because the perimeter, you add all the sides. So the perimeter of this first square is 12. The perimeter of this second square is 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. So the perimeter of the second square is 12. No, 4, 8, 12, 16. The perimeter of the second square is 16 units. The perimeter of the first square is 12 units. Now, to build the Pythagorean theorem from what we have so far, we know that a squared, which in this case is 9, plus b squared, which in this case is 16, is going to be equal to c squared. And if we add 9 plus 16, we get 25. So that tells us that the area of this third square is 25. So I'm going to put 25 inches squared as the area of this square. Since I know now that the area is 25 inches squared, I need to find out the length of each side. And we're going to do the same thing that we did for the first two tr uh, squares. We're going to take the square root of the number to find the length of each side. The square root of 25 is 5. So that means that each side of this square is 5 units. The question is asking to find the perimeter of the third square. The first square had a perimeter of 12 because we added 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3. The second square had a perimeter of 16. We added 4, 4, 4, and 4. So on this third square, we're going to add the perimeters, which are 5, 5, 5, and 5, to get a perimeter of 20 for the third square. So the perimeter of the third square is 20 units. And I'm going to write that it is equal to 20 units. And that is the perimeter of the third square.